Thank you very much. My name is Chris Ryan. I'm the Associate Dean Education in the Faculty of Engineering. Um, my background from research end is uh, fluid dynamics and mechanical engineering. And I've been teaching since about 2005. I've been involved with Monash since uh, the early to mid-1990s. Uh, and I've been teaching at Monash since about 2000. So I was first involved with Patsy in 2009. Um, I got involved because uh, there was some people in my department who were struggling with their teaching and uh, I seemed to be doing quite well with my teaching. Uh, I had been looking at the different areas of teaching where people as a whole could improve and Pats was a program which I could use to uh, just to sort of help us all out and formalise the process. So my role was to mentor other academics. Yep. Um, my role prior to my current role was the Director of Teaching and Learning okay. in Mechanical Engineering. Mm -hmm. And so we were looking at the units that were struggling by uh, the student evaluations. And from that we were looking at uh, the academics and seeing how we could help them out with, uh, with their teaching. Where do we even start? And by having a mentor role to be able to help you out with that, they find it's really the academics were, were clearly in some way upset and wanted to improve. Where we found an academic wanted to improve was a, a fantastic opportunity to get involved. One thing that I the students in the class. Mm -hmm. When we were able to do that, then suddenly we found the students wanted to know the lecturer, they wanted to know the subject material, and everybody found it more enjoyable. The, mm -hmm. the, the, the key or the, the, the principal element that I've always found is with teaching is if you can make education enjoyable, then everybody benefits. And uh, Pats has allowed me to help other uh, We've had some wonderful successes with the unit evaluations. Uh, our unit evaluations are ranked out of five. We've had uh, improvements from two to over four um, between successive teaching uh, by the same academics, which is Southeast Asia. Um, they had a completely different teaching style that they wanted mm -hmm. to adopt. Uh, so they looked at the teaching materials, they couldn't use those, they weren't really clear on what the students would expect in Australia and they were quite nervous about the whole prospect. Mm -hmm. um, so we were able to, through the, the PATS program, be able to help them out and they've got a, a unit evaluation very close to four uh, and I'm sure that next year it will exceed four, it's just going to improve slowly as we go along. Uh, and they've been absolutely thrilled by uh, the feedback from the students and they're really enjoying so it. So one of the things that I found with uh, tertiary education is that we really strive very hard to get academics to work together with their research and mm. we're, we're often getting them to engage with each other. Go mm. off to another faculty, talk to that other faculty about research. Mm. But then we don't necessarily do that so much with our teaching. Mm -hmm. But something like PATS, even in a, a semi-informal way, can allow us to talk about teaching. Uh, and that, I think, is actually useful because it's the time when a lot of academics um, are most nervous with their job. They sit there saying, well, I'm really confident at the research. I've been doing it for years. It's what I've built my career on. Mm -hmm. The teaching I know I have to do, maybe there are aspects of that that I really don't like. And mm -hmm. it gets me really nervous when I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So then you can, uh, through, say, uh, the, the coffees or something like that, you get people to sit down together, just have a chat. But it's not just about a coffee, it's not just about people socialising together because there is that context there that, well, the reason that we're all sitting here socialising is to talk about how you're going with your teaching. Mm -hmm. And we want to, we see the, the several hundred students in front of us and we want them to do the best that they can do. With PATS though, you can go one step further because if you can help an academic who's teaching that group of students, well, that group of students has benefited, but so has the next lot and a lot after that. The ones after that, suddenly there's thousands of people who benefit, and that is a really big thing. 